Hi everyone, welcome to Focus on Sound at Regent Sounds. My name is Rob, and today we are addressing the question of how much effect the wood material on an electric guitar makes to the sound of the electric guitar through the amplifier. Um, the example we've chosen is the quite awesome new Supro reissue. This is called the Silverwood, um, and it's an Indonesian built reissue. Um, of their two pickup guitar. Uh, these are typically called gold foils. Uh, that kind of encompasses loads of different pickups when people say gold foils. So uh, these are actually based on the clear tone pickups uh, Valco made, uh, which are single coils, but look like humbuckers, but they're singles, quite, quite powerful singles. Uh, this one is a three piece ash body, and this one is a mahogany body. It was just, it prompted the question really, because for once we had exactly the same thing in two, in two versions uh, regarding the body material. Keep in mind, there's always gonna be variation density and stuff anyway, so y you never get a perfect, perfect answer, but this is kind of as close as you can get. So uh, just to spec on the guitars quickly, single coils, Gibson scale length, so 24 and three quarters. Um, they, they still use rosewood on these, uh, rather than power ferro, don't they? Yeah, rosewood. Uh, Indonesian built, glued in neck. So both hardtail with a tunematic style bridge, one volume, one tone, uh, three positions, um, and the rest is up to you. We're gonna be running these two beauties through uh, the Fender 65 Deluxe Reverb reissue, which is kind of one of our favorite uh, amps. Uh, the usual deluxe reverb stuff, so 22 watts. Um, it's a black face, so it's a Jensen uh, speaker, and it's the US made one. Uh, and we're putting it through our, one of our favorite pedals as well, um, called the Broadcast, which in the sort of limited edition Regent Sounds color, because uh, we, we were one of the first to stock his whole thing. It's based on a circuit from a Studer desk, so it's germanium. On one side, it adds kind of germanium graininess, a little bit of dirt, and this one adds proper fuzz but it's a really, really good pedal. Like we keep sending out, that's really good. So uh, leads are the uh, Regent Sounds made GC cables uh, up from our JPF workshop, really nice leads. And we're using the SEV7 dynamic microphone. And it's on a short stand, what we found upstairs. <laughs>
Right, so I hope, I hope you all enjoyed that. I certainly did, playing these lovely guitars. Um, yeah, the, first of all, just before we go into the woods thing, like, this is an Indonesian built guitar, and I guess the first thing you think is a thousand pounds. It's like quite a lot for, for something from that part of the world. But I genuinely think the sort of, the build quality now has reached that point where I think you can easily charge that much. Uh, and I play a custom shop strat sort of day in, day out, and actually these feel great. Um, I think those sort of single cores really help. Uh, they're quite powerful, but they're really dynamic, really dynamic, which I think is missing from lots of these sorts of guitars. Um, in terms of the woods, like we definitely heard a bit of a difference. Uh, we'd like you, like you to maybe just let us know what you think. Um, this bit of it is so open to sort of uh, lots of different arguments because you we could we could double check exactly the pickup heights and all those sorts of tiny little things, but. I definitely got a really different vibe off these. It was useful for me because I haven't done that direct comparison before, not, not back and forth like that. Okay, well, thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please feel free to subscribe to our channel um, and join all the social media kind of stuff which should be running underneath me right now. Uh, yeah, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.